My brain hurts. Honestly, whenever I'm trying something new, there's this thing that happens, tell me if it happens to you as well, where my brain goes, don't want to, don't want to do it anyway, it's stupid. It's stupid and so am I because I don't know how to do it and I don't know if it works and what's the point anyway and if I put this on the internet there's gonna be loads of people who tell me how stupid I am and I don't know how to do stuff but guess what no one knows how to do stuff until they learn how to do stuff I am learning how to do stuff I don't like it I don't understand why it sucks where are Johnny Greenwood and Tom York when you need them do you think they might just pop round and help because <laughs> This is really hard. What is this? Welcome or welcome back to my captain's vlog. Today's been a long time coming. I'm going to get started using the Moog Grandmother, which I've owned for over a year and barely touched. How lucky am I? For my 40th birthday last year, I was given this as a present by my fantastic husband, Tim. And what a generous gift. Kind of funny as well, I'm not sure that he intended it to be a joke, but giving a 40 year old woman something called a grandmother, I don't know, it takes a brave person to do such a thing. But I'm very grateful, it's an incredible instrument and it's a synth I had had my eye on for some time. But just because you get given an amazing synth doesn't mean you get given the extra time to learn how to use it. So it's taken a little while to get round to that moment. And that moment is now, today. I'm recording three exclusive tracks for my correspondence club and I want to put some synths on and rather than just use the stuff I'm comfortable with, the synths that I have that have their own inbuilt sounds I can then tweak, I'm just going to go for it and this is my afternoon to get started with the Moog Grandmother. So I thought I'd invite you along <laughs> so that you can see what it's like just to have a go at something with no expectations, there's no shame in not knowing something. I don't know anything about this instrument other than I'm very excited to figure out how to use it and to incorporate it into these tracks. What is this? And then start using it to create music for the next Penfriend album, which I'm gonna start recording in August. I don't understand why it sucks. It's one of the hottest days I could possibly have done this, but music doesn't wait for the perfect temperature. So let's just, let's just have a go. First, some basic information. I'm recording into Logic X. I'm just using an instrument cable out of the audio out on the back of the synth and it's going into my Focusrite Claret over there. I've literally just turned the instrument on so it's all it's making is this sound. That's absolutely not what I want so I'm gonna have to figure this out. But the good thing is the audio is rooting into there and I can hear it. It's going into Logic and I can get started. What I normally do with an instrument is just start twiddling things and seeing what happens. I try not to be scared of instruments. It's not gonna bite me. I'm just gonna have a go. I'm just gonna try some stuff. So I'm gonna set up a recording track on here just in case anything's any good. So I've got input three for the synth here. I go back to the beginning of this. Um, have a little fiddle around and see, see what's gonna come out of this thing. Something happened there. <laughs> this guy fell down. Sorry about that. I feel the need to say something about uh, learning how to do so properly. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I just thought it'd be fun to just mess about and see what I could do on my own. I'm always happy to be humbled and I'm feeling pretty humbled by this instrument right now. But yeah, I'm not um, anti-learning stuff. I just want to see what happens this way instead first. I haven't got very far. So what I'm doing now is looking up other people's patch sound recipe things to get to a point where I can start to tweak something. So I've got these, they came with the synth. Um, I've found a website called attackmagazine.com and I'm gonna try one of the, this weird thing in the background. I don't even know how it's doing it. Um, oh, 
Maybe it's because that's on. I mean, this could take a while. Um, I'm just going to try someone else's sounds and see how I get on. So I'm just copying what they're talking about here. Completely copying it. This one, that one, and then that one to this one. Is that what they meant? Well, this is really confusing. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't sound like that, does it? My brain hurts. I don't know what that was and I think I got it wrong, but... There's a sound now. That makes me a lot happier than I was before. Um, I've changed the octave because I prefer it. I was going to see if it even fits what I was doing before um, on this recording. See if it's useful. I'm not recording. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. worth remembering whatever you're putting onto one track is part of a bigger thing it's also the start of something it's the raw material I've got so many plugins I can add to this to make it sound how I want to take it from whatever sound it is here to something that fits in with the song or takes it to another place or whatever I want but it's very easy I do it too to think this doesn't sound perfect the point is the point of me sharing this with you is to show you there are many hours like this that go ooh, that go into creating a song and you don't see that stuff at the end and that's great because the magic is not ruined um, but the point is just just try stuff I'm just gonna keep trying stuff I'm not gonna get disillusioned with my lack of progress so far there's actually been at least a decent amount of progress there was no sound coming out of this when I turned it on and now there's something I don't like it and it doesn't work with my song and I don't know what notes to play, but it's something. Another dreadful sound has been created. I don't think I'm doing this right. I'm following these recipes I found and it sounds rubbish. It's just horrendous, isn't it? I don't even know how to stop it. Turn the volume off. Jesus. Oh, where are Johnny Greenwood and Tom York when you need them? There's some beautiful Moog sounds on the Smiles album. I can hear the Moog matriarch on a, one of the songs near the end of the record, at least. Probably elsewhere as well. I'm trying not to feel demoralised because I want to achieve something today. Let's try again. Let's try something else. Ugh. have it as a surprise actually. Let's try this. So. That's it. And now for the moment of truth. What is this? Oh Jesus, I mean, I really hoped that this would be uh, more successful in the sense that I would find sounds I liked to put on my song. I feel a bit disgruntled. <sighs> this isn't working. 
I'm not sure what's happened, but I just kept turning knobs and I found something quite nice. An actual sound. I read something recently about how no experiment is ever a failure because you tried something. So while I could consider this a failed experiment, with the Moog grandmother. I'd prefer to think of it like this. I spent some time with an instrument that I haven't spent any time with before and I figured a few things out. It's not that I expected to steam on in, figure out how to use a complicated thing in five minutes just by messing about and then create this wonderful like tapestry of synth sounds. All I wanted was to find one sound that I could weave into these recordings. That hasn't happened. It's been a couple of hours. It's absolutely boiling in this room and I do have a deadline to complete these recordings so that I can send them out to my Correspondence Club members. So I'm calling it, this isn't a failure, it was just an experiment. And because it didn't work out with the Moog grandmother today, I get to play with my old faithful, the Teenage Engineering OP1 and the Casio VL Tone. So I'm not unhappy at all. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope this video showed you that messing about with instruments, while it can be very annoying and uh, not particularly productive, is fun and not scary. And if you want to do it, go for it. If you're not already subscribed, click that button to join me for future adventures in sound and see all of the weekly videos that I've got coming up for you. See you next time. Uh, I was going to film a really cool outro there with the uh, OP1 here, making beautiful sounds with ease and me working on my track, you know, gunning for my deadline. The OP1's battery is completely flat, so maybe could you come back another day when normal service has been resumed? Yeah? See you then. Bye for now. <laughs>